it's reminded me a lot of riding back in Seattle with the weather, um, but today is glorious and this area is incredibly beautiful. So um, yeah, it's been great riding here in the UK and yeah, really looking forward to today's stage. Stage five of the women's tour and the last day in Wales. And what kind of a stage it is, just short of 107 kilometers of racing, with an uphill finish on a category one climb on the Black Mountains of Wales. Some teams would want to go for a stage victory, but other teams who are going for the general classification want to control the stage. It's up to Trek and Canyon to win, you know, they're um, FDJ or, you know, one, two, three with uh, Trek and Canyon SRAM. Um, so it's up to them to make the racing. And yeah, I mean, as a four rider team, I um, have a lot of faith in, in my teammates. I know that they are strong, they are really experienced, um, they mature, so I can really rely on them to help me to stay out of trouble. And yeah, today is going to be about patience. When the peloton rolls out of the start on the cycling circuit of Pembury, we instantly have a lot of activity forming a break. After many attacks, there is a break that sticks. After the first categorized climb of the day, a group of 11 riders break away from the peloton and go on an adventure. They get over one minute before the group merges back into the peloton. Now Uno X rider Jocelyn Loden is going solo. And behind her, Romy Casper and Michaela Harvey wants to bridge to the British rider. Behind them, a chasing group who includes European champion Ellen van Dijk wants to bring back the three riders. Within 10 kilometers to go, the thinned out peloton is all back together and will start the final climb to the uphill finish soon. Ellen van Dijk is pulling hard up the front, thinning the peloton even further. Elisa Longa Borghini is attacking with 7 kilometers to go with Alex Manley, Cassia Nivia Doma and Grace Brown in her wheel. She can't get rid of them, but Longa Borghini attacks again. Two kilometers to go and Jocelyn Loden is now in front of this group. And within the final kilometer, Longo Borghini attacks again. She really wants to have the victory today and rides hard up the hill, followed by the GC leader Brown. A couple of hundred meters and we will have a sprint with about six riders now. The Italian rider starts to sprint early again with 150 meters. Is it enough? And yes, it is enough. Lisa Longo Borghini wins the fifth stage of the women's tour. This climb is well, a long one, but it's not really steep, so you can't really make the difference. And uh, plus, we had a headwind, so it was like attacking and hitting the wall. And then I was just uh, trying a couple of times, and uh, then I, I trusted my sprint. This is for uh, my teammates, from uh, for my for the, my staff because it's working really, really well. From uh, the, the morning uh, to, to the evening for everyone involved and uh, yeah, uh, this is for Taxi Gafredo. Elisa Lomaborghini wins the fifth stage of the women's tour. Kasia Niwiadoma, who had a mechanical issues with her gears on the final climb, is second, followed by Grace Brown. Grace Brown remains a leader in the general classifications. Elisa Lomaborghini is now second with the same time. Kasia Niviadoma is third with only two seconds. On the final day tomorrow, anything is still possible.